Welcome to our exciting journey through the world of innovative vehicles. Have you ever wondered what the future of transportation might look like? Are you ready to be amazed by cutting-edge designs that push the boundaries of mobility? Today, we're counting down the 15 coolest vehicles you need to see. From electric bikes to futuristic wheelchairs, these incredible machines are set to revolutionize the way we move. Let's dive in and explore these game-changing vehicles that are redefining personal transportation. Starting our list at number 15 is the Ehora Romeo Pro 2, an electric bike that's taking the e-bike world by storm. I had the pleasure of testing this beast, and let me tell you, it's a game-changer for both commuters and adventure seekers alike. The Romeo Pro 2 boasts a powerful 750 watts motor that effortlessly propels you to speeds of up to 28 miles per hour. What impressed me most was its incredible range. With a 960 WH battery, I managed to cover over 80 miles on a single charge in pedal assist mode. This makes it perfect for long commutes or weekend adventures without the fear of running out of juice. One of the standout features is the bike's versatility. The fat tires provide excellent traction on various terrains, from city streets to off-road trails. I took it for a spin in a nearby forest, and the bike handled roots and rocks with ease, giving me a smooth and controlled ride. Comfort is another area where the Romeo Pro 2 shines. The adjustable suspension fork and seat post absorb bumps and vibrations, making even longer rides a pleasure. The ergonomic design of the handlebars and seat allow me to maintain a comfortable posture throughout my journeys. Safety hasn't been overlooked either. The bike comes equipped with powerful hydraulic disc brakes that provide excellent stopping power even in wet conditions. The integrated LED lights ensure visibility during night rides, and the backlit LCD display gives you all the essential information at a glance. Next up at number 14, we have the Avenaya Tectus Ultimate, a mobility scooter that's redefining independence for those with limited mobility. This isn't your average mobility scooter. It's a fully enclosed all-weather vehicle that offers unparalleled comfort and functionality. During my test drive, I was immediately struck by the Tectus Ultimate's sleek design. It looks more like a futuristic minicar than a traditional mobility scooter. The enclosed cabin provides protection from the elements, making it perfect for year-round use, rain or shine. The Tectus Ultimate is powered by a robust 2,000-watt motor, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. What's truly impressive is its range. With a 2-400WH battery, it can travel up to 180 miles on a single charge. This extended range opens up a world of possibilities for users, allowing for longer trips and greater independence. Inside the cabin, the attention to detail is evident. The comfortable seating, adjustable steering column, and intuitive controls make operating the Tectus Ultimate a breeze. I particularly appreciated the air conditioning and heating system, ensuring a comfortable ride regardless of the outside temperature. Safety features abound in this innovative vehicle. The Tectus Ultimate comes equipped with a backup camera, GPS tracking, and comprehensive safety lighting. During my night test drive, I felt completely secure thanks to the excellent visibility provided by the lighting system. At number 13, we have the Kanguro, a fascinating three-wheeled robot that blurs the line between personal assistant and transportation device. Developed by the Future Robotics Technology Center, Furo of Chiba Institute of Technology, this unique vehicle left me in awe during my hands-on experience. The Kanguro's most striking feature is its ability to transform. In its robot mode, it acts as a loyal companion, following you around like a futuristic pet. I tested this in a shopping mall setting, and it dutifully trailed behind me, carrying my bags, and even serving as a mobile communication terminal. When it's time to hit the road, Kanguro transforms into a sleek, rideable vehicle. The transformation process is smooth and automatic, triggered by a simple command from a smartphone app. Once in ride mode, I found the experience to be unlike any other vehicle I've tested. The integration between rider and machine is remarkable. As I leaned into turns, Kanguro actively adjusted its body, creating a sensation similar to skiing. This human-machine integration extends to the haptic feedback system. Through the saddle, I could feel pulses that corresponded to the travel speed, giving me an intuitive sense of how fast I was going. Safety is a priority with Kanguro. Its smart stop function automatically applies brakes to prevent collisions, a feature I found reassuring in busy urban environments. The steering's force feedback system provides a clear sense of the turn radius, enhancing control and safety. 
Coming in at number 12 is the Carbo Wolf King GTR, an electric scooter that redefines what's possible in the world of personal electric vehicles. This beast of a scooter left me breathless with its power, speed, and versatility. The Wolf King GTR is built around dual 2000 watts motors, providing a combined 4000 watts of raw power. During my test ride, this translated to blistering acceleration and a top speed that had me grinning from ear to ear. The scooter effortlessly reached its maximum speed of 62 miles per hour, a feat that's truly impressive for an electric scooter. What sets the Wolf King GTR apart is its ability to handle any terrain. The upgraded suspension system, featuring adjustable dual arm motorcycle grade shock absorbers in the front and spring damping adjustable oil pressure shock absorbers in the rear, soaked up bumps and irregularities with ease. I took it off-road, and it handled dirt trails and rocky pods as confidently as it did smooth asphalt. The battery life on this scooter is equally impressive. With a 2419 WHLG battery, I was able to cover over 90 miles on a single charge. The advanced battery management system ensures optimal performance and longevity, with six protection mechanisms keeping everything running smoothly and safely. Braking performance is crucial at high speeds, and the Wolf King GTR doesn't disappoint. The hydraulic brakes provided strong, consistent stopping power, even when descending steep hills at speed. The wide all-terrain tires offered excellent grip in all conditions, adding to the overall sense of security. At number 11, we have the TerraGlide Recumbent Trike, a vehicle that combines comfort, efficiency and fun in a unique package. As someone who's always been intrigued by recumbent designs, I was excited to put this trike through its paces. The first thing that struck me about the TerraGlide was its comfort. The reclined seating position distributes your weight evenly, eliminating the pressure points and discomfort often associated with traditional bicycles. Even after hours of riding, I felt fresh and relaxed. Performance-wise, the TerraGlide surprised me with its speed and efficiency. The aerodynamic design, coupled with the recumbent position, allow me to reach and maintain higher speeds with less effort compared to a traditional bicycle. On flat terrain, I found myself cruising comfortably at speeds that would have been challenging on an upright bike. Stability is another area where the Terra Glide shines. The three-wheel design provides excellent balance, especially when cornering or riding at low speeds. This makes it an ideal choice for riders who might be hesitant about balancing on two wheels. The Terra Glide's versatility impressed me as well. It handled a variety of terrains with ease, from smooth city streets to light off-road trails. The adjustable seat and handlebars allow me to fine-tune the fit, ensuring optimal comfort and efficiency for my body type. Rounding out our top 15 at number 10 is the Skewo Wheelchair, a revolutionary mobility device that's changing lives. This isn't just any wheelchair, it's a high-tech marvel that offers unprecedented freedom and independence to its users. The most striking feature of the Skewo is its ability to climb stairs. I watched in amazement as it effortlessly ascended and descended staircases that would be insurmountable obstacles for traditional wheelchairs. The two large wheels, combined with retractable rubber tracks, make this possible, opening up a world of accessibility. But the Skuo isn't just about climbing stairs. Its self-balancing technology allows for incredible maneuverability. During my test, I was able to rotate on the spot and navigate tight spaces with ease. The chair can even elevate, raising the user to eye level for conversations or reaching high shelves. Control of the Skuo is intuitive and customizable. The joystick and smartphone app allow users to adjust various settings, from driving modes to seat position. I found the different modes particularly useful. There's a mode for every situation, whether you're navigating crowded indoor spaces or tackling outdoor terrain. Safety is paramount in the Suo's design. The chair remains stable even on inclines, and the stair climbing process feels secure and controlled. The ability to stop mid-climb on stairs adds an extra layer of confidence for users. At number 9, we have the Lazarus LMV 496, a vehicle that seems to have leapt straight out of a science fiction movie. This isn't just a motorcycle, it's a flying machine that transforms from a road-going bike to an airborne marvel in seconds. When I first laid eyes on the LMV 496, I was struck by its futuristic design. The sleek angular body houses not just wheels, but also four jet turbines, one at each corner. These turbines are the key to its transformation from road vehicle to flying machine. 
On the road, the LMV 496 handles like a high-performance motorcycle. The electric motor provides instant torque, propelling the bike forward with exhilarating acceleration. The ride is smooth and stable, thanks to its innovative suspension system and wide stance. But the real magic happens when you're ready to take to the skies. With the push of a button, the LMV 496 begins its transformation. The wheels rotate outward, revealing the jet turbines. In just 60 seconds, the bike is ready for takeoff. The experience of lifting off is unlike anything I've ever felt. A mixture of excitement and awe as the ground falls away beneath you. In flight mode, the LMV 496 is surprisingly stable and intuitive to control. The four turbines provide 1,300 horsepower of thrust, allowing for a flight time of about 10 minutes. While this might seem short, it's more than enough for a thrilling aerial experience or to bypass traffic jams. Landing is just as smooth as takeoff, with the bike seamlessly transitioning back to road mode. Next up at number 8 is the Moving Life Atto Sport, a mobility scooter that's redefining what personal mobility devices can be. This isn't your average mobility scooter, it's a sleek, foldable marvel of engineering that combines style, functionality, and portability. The first thing that struck me about the Atto Sport was its modern minimalist design. It looks more like a piece of high-tech equipment than a traditional mobility scooter. The clean lines and premium materials give it a sophisticated appearance that wouldn't look out of place in a design museum. But the Atto Sport isn't just about looks, its functionality is where it truly shines. The scooter can be folded down to the size of a small suitcase in just a few seconds. I was amazed at how compact it became, easily fitting into the trunk of my car or even as carry-on luggage for air travel. When unfolded, the Atto Sport provides a comfortable and stable ride. The seat is adjustable and supportive, and the controls are intuitive and easy to use. I found myself sipping around effortlessly, whether indoors or outdoors. The powerful motor handled inclines with ease, and the suspension system smoothed out bumps in the road. One of the standout features of the Atto Sport is its range. On a single charge, I was able to cover up to 12 miles, which is impressive for such a compact device. The battery is removable, making it easy to charge indoors or carry a spare for extended trips. At number 7, we have the Water Car Panther, a vehicle that truly embodies the spirit of adventure. This amphibious car seamlessly transitions from land to water, offering an unparalleled level of versatility and fun. On land, the Panther looks and drives like a rugged off-road vehicle. Its fiber glass body and steel frame give it a robust feel, while the comfortable interior provides all the amenities you'd expect from a modern car. During my test drive on winding mountain roads, the Panther handled curves with confidence and tackled rough terrain with ease. But the real magic happens when you reach the water's edge. With the push of a button, the wheels retract and the jet drive engages. In less than 15 seconds, the Panther transforms from car to boat. The transition is smooth and effortless, and before you know it, you're cruising on the water. On the water, the Panther is just as impressive as it is on land. Powered by a 3.7-litre V6 engine, it can reach speeds of up to 44 miles per hour on water, faster than many dedicated boats. The hull design provides a stable and comfortable ride, even in choppy conditions. I found myself carving through waves with a huge grin on my face, marveling at the sheer novelty of driving a car on water. One of the most impressive aspects of the Panther is how it combines the best of both worlds. It's not just a car that can float or a boat with wheels, it's a fully capable vehicle in both environments. Whether you're exploring remote beaches, tackling off-road trails, or simply enjoying a day on the lake, the Panther offers an unmatched level of freedom and versatility. Coming in at number 6 is the Van der Hall Laguna Roadster, a vehicle that blends classic styling with modern performance in a unique three-wheeled package. This auto cycle, as it's officially classified, offers a driving experience unlike anything else on the road. The first thing that catches your eye about the Laguna is its stunning retro-inspired design. The open top body, swooping fenders, and exposed front wheels give it a look that's both nostalgic and futuristic. Sliding into the driver's seat, I was immediately struck by the quality of the materials and the attention to detail in the cockpit. On the road, the Laguna is a pure joy to drive. The 1.5-litre turbocharged engine provides plenty of power, propelling the lightweight vehicle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. 
The low center of gravity and wide stance give it incredible stability in corners, allowing you to carve through turns with precision and confidence. What really sets the Laguna apart is the visceral nature of the driving experience. With no roof and an open cockpit, you're fully immersed in your surroundings. The wind in your hair, the sound of the engine, and the feeling of the road beneath you create a connection between driver and machine that's hard to find in modern cars. Despite its performance credentials, the Laguna is surprisingly comfortable for long drives. The seats are supportive, and the suspension strikes a good balance between sportiness and comfort. Features like heated seats and a premium sound system add a touch of luxury to the raw driving experience. Rounding out our top 10 at number 5 is the Bliss Wheelie Scooter, a revolutionary personal transportation device that redefines portability and convenience. This isn't just another electric scooter, it's a marvel of engineering that can fit in your backpack. When I first received the Bliss Wheel, I was skeptical about its claims of extreme portability. But as I unfolded it from its compact carrying case, I was amazed at how such a capable vehicle could pack down so small. The entire process of unfolding and setting up the scooter takes less than 10 seconds, making it perfect for quick trips or last mile commutes. On the road, the Blizz wheel performs surprisingly well for its size. The dual hub motors provide zippy acceleration and I found myself easily keeping pace with bicycle traffic. The scooter can reach speeds of up to 19 miles per hour, which feels plenty fast given its compact nature. The range of up to 15 miles on a single charge is impressive, easily covering most urban commutes. One of the standout features of the Blizz wheel is its stability. Despite its small wheels, the wide deck and low center of gravity provide a secure riding experience. I felt confident navigating through busy city streets, and the responsive brakes allowed for quick stops when needed. The Blizz wheel truly shines in its versatility. I found myself using it for quick trips to the store, as a fun way to explore the city, and even as a complement to public transportation for longer journeys. The ability to fold it down and carry it with me meant I never had to worry about parking or storage. At number 4, we have the Volkswagen Harbour Car, a concept that seems to have leapt straight out of a science fiction movie. This futuristic vehicle reimagines personal transportation in a way that's both exciting and mind-bending. The hover car is a two-seater pod that literally floats above the ground. When I first approached it, I was struck by its compact, circular design. It's unlike any car I've ever seen, with a transparent canopy that offers a 360-degree view of your surroundings. The interior is minimalist yet futuristic, with a central control panel that looks more like a tablet than a traditional dashboard. Starting the hover car is an experience in itself. There's no engine roar, just a soft hum as the electromagnetic system engages. As the car lifts off the ground, there's a moment of weightlessness that's both thrilling and slightly disconcerting. It takes a few minutes to get used to the sensation of floating, but once you do, it's an incredibly smooth ride. Maneuvering the hover car is intuitive, thanks to its joystick control system. It can move in any direction, including sideways and diagonally, which makes navigating through tight urban spaces a breeze. The lack of friction means it can achieve impressive speeds while using minimal energy, making it an incredibly efficient mode of transport. One of the most impressive features of the hover car is its safety systems. Proximity sensors and AI-driven collision avoidance technology work together to prevent accidents. During my test drive, the car automatically adjusted its course to avoid obstacles, providing a sense of security even in busy traffic conditions. While the Volkswagen hover car is still a concept, it offers a tantalizing glimpse into a possible future of urban transportation. It's a vehicle that could revolutionize how we think about city planning and infrastructure, potentially eliminating the need for traditional roads altogether. Coming in at number 3 is the Q-Berg Free Rider Electric Motorcycle, a vehicle that blurs the line between electric bike and motorcycle. This versatile machine offers an exhilarating riding experience that's hard to match. The first thing that struck me about the Freerider was its sleek, minimalist design. It looks like a cross between a mountain bike and a dirt bike, with a sturdy frame and robust suspension. Despite its powerful appearance, it's surprisingly light, weighing in at just 79 pounds. Riding the Freerider is an absolute joy. The electric motor delivers instant torque, providing thrilling acceleration that can take you from 0 to 34 miles per hour in seconds. What's truly impressive is how quiet it is. You can enjoy the rush of speed without the typical noise associated with motorcycles. 
One of the standout features of the Freerider is its versatility. During my test, I took it from city streets to off-road trails and it handled both with ease. The powerful suspension soaks up bumps and jumps, while the knobby tires provide excellent traction on various surfaces. The Freerider's battery life is impressive, offering up to an hour of continuous riding at full throttle. I found that with mixed use, including some trail riding and urban commuting, I could easily get two to three hours of fun before needing to recharge. Safety features on the Freerider are well thought out. The hydraulic disc brakes provide excellent stopping power, and the low center of gravity makes it easy to maintain control even at higher speeds. The adjustable power modes allow riders to tailor the performance to their skill level, making it suitable for both beginners and experienced riders. At number 2, we have the Segway 9 Bot S Plus. A self-balancing personal transporter that takes the original Segway concept to new heights. This innovative machine offers a unique blend of fun, practicality, and advanced technology. The S Plus immediately catches the eye with its sleek, futuristic design. The large wheels and sturdy base give it a robust appearance, while the knee-high steering bar adds a touch of elegance. When I first stepped onto it, I was impressed by how quickly the self-balancing technology kicked in, providing a stable platform. Riding the S Plus is an intuitive experience. Lean forward to move forward, lean back to slow down or reverse, and use the knee bar to steer. It took me a few minutes to get used to the controls, but once I did, it felt like an extension of my body. The powerful 800 watts motor provides smooth acceleration, easily taking me up to the top speed of 12.5 miles per hour. One of the most impressive features of the S Plus is its intelligent functionality. It can be controlled remotely via a smartphone app, and it even has a follow mode where it will trail behind you autonomously. I found this particularly useful when navigating crowded areas where riding wasn't practical. The S Plus boasts an impressive range of up to 22 miles on a single charge, making it a viable option for short commutes or extended leisure rides. During my test, I was able to use it for a full day of exploring the city without needing to recharge. Safety is a key consideration in the S Plus design. The large 11-inch pneumatic tires provide excellent stability and shock absorption, while the bright LED lights ensure visibility in low-light conditions. The app also allows you to set speed limits and adjust other parameters to suit your riding style and skill level. And finally, at number one on our list of the 15 colors vehicles you need to see, we have the Bio Hybrid Pedelec. This innovative vehicle represents a fascinating blend of bicycle and car, offering a unique solution for urban mobility. The Bio Hybrid Pedelec immediately stands out with its distinctive design. It's essentially a four-wheeled electric bicycle with a roof, combining the benefits of a bike with some of the comforts of a car. When I first saw it, I was struck by how it manages to look both futuristic and practical at the same time. Getting into the Bio Hybrid is a unique experience. It's more spacious than a traditional bicycle, with a comfortable seat and a steering wheel instead of handlebars. The pedals are positioned similarly to a recumbent bike, allowing for a relaxed riding position. The roof provides protection from the elements, a significant advantage over traditional bicycles. Riding the Bio Hybrid is surprisingly intuitive. You can pedal like a normal bike, but with electric assistance that makes hills and long distances much more manageable. The electric motor kicks in smoothly, providing a boost that can take you up to 25 km per hour, 15.5 miles per hour. During my test ride, I found that I could easily keep up with urban traffic while expending minimal effort. One of the most impressive aspects of the Bio Hybrid is its versatility. It's narrow enough to use bike lanes, yet stable enough to feel safe on busy streets. The cargo version I tested had a large storage area behind the seat, making it ideal for everything from grocery runs to small deliveries. There's even a passenger version that can accommodate a second adult or two children. The technology integrated into the Bio Hybrid is impressive. It features a digital display that shows speed, battery level, and other important information. The electric system is regenerative, recapturing energy when braking or going downhill. During my test, I found that careful use of the regenerative system could significantly extend the range. The Bio Hybrid Pedelec represents a fascinating vision of future urban mobility. It offers the exercise benefits and maneuverability of a bicycle, the weather protection and cargo capacity of a small car, and the eco-friendliness of an electric vehicle. While it may take some time for infrastructure and regulations to catch up, 
vehicles like the biohybrid could play a significant role in reshaping our cities and how we move within them. Final thoughts. And there you have it. Our countdown of the 15 coolest vehicles you need to see. From flying motorcycles to hovering cars, from electric off-road bikes to pedal electric hybrids, these innovative machines are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in personal transportation. They offer glimpses into a future where our vehicles are not just modes of transport, but extensions of our lifestyles, tailored to our needs and the environments we live in.